away and Arnold out. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, you want to talk about a fighter who checks all the boxes, DC. Here is the UFC featherweight king, your right-hand man, Max Bless Hall. The Blessed Express <laughs> is always on my mind. He's one of the best fighters and one of the best guys that we know. The pace and the ability to push and press forward is something that the UFC's featherweight division has never really seen. To melt Jose Aldo in the way that he did, to melt Brian Ortega in the way that he did, is truly a compliment to Max Holloway in his preparation, true Hawaiian to his soul, and it shows in the toughness that he exhibits when he steps into the opposite. You talk about a guy ably taking the torch from the Hall of Famer BJ oh. Penn. Max blessed Holloway. Few guys are gonna be able to match the cardio. You mentioned the pace and the pressure. All eyes on Max Holloway yet again here tonight. Our tale of the tape now for this featherweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, one loss. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Arnold Almighty Allen! And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway! All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Nice. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Holloway gets tagged with a kick now. 
Let's see if he can rally. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Holloway gets crushed with that hook. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. You got to check these low leg kicks. Holloway whiffs on the left there. Holloway's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Right punches there. It's very tricky when it throws that body to the Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Two minutes remain in the round. How good is that right hand? So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. He gets to his spot, the tie clean. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Ooh, what a punch. One minute now to go in round one. And both guys really throwing with authority. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And they separate. A lot of highlights over those previous five minutes, DC, and big part of the narrative, those knee strikes. Those knee strikes landed, and they landed and did a ton of damage. You can see his opponent slowing down because he's taking so many of those knee strikes to the body. Right, then a left. Massive head kick. More than one, more than one. Try to establish that jab. There, good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anyway. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Great punch. Nice one, two there. Clipped him with the right hand there. Another one. Oh, he got that 
knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside. To the jab now, no good. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's out! He's out. Oh! Woo yeah, that right there is a high level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Well, hard to perform Ladies much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Max Bliss Holloway. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style.